Hi, this is Matt Comstock with Control Layers Technical Support Team, and today we're going to be talking about what to do if you're not seeing any output from your Type 500 or Type 550 I2P transducer. One of our more common support calls is from customers who aren't seeing any output from their I2P transducer. 90% of the time, this issue can be solved with a simple adjustment. That adjustment's with the zero screw. The zero screw controls the position of a nozzle internal to the device and also controls the minimum output of your unit. If this nozzle is positioned too far away from the flexure, the unit will not be able to control pressure in a pilot chamber and therefore you won't see any output of the unit regardless of the input you give it. In this setup, I'm using our Type 500 AC which is a 3 to 15 psi output and 4 to 20 milliamp input. I'm currently feeding the device 20 milliamps of current and about 90 psi for supply pressure. I'm only seeing about half a PSI of output though. What that tells me is I need to adjust the zero screw. Before I start making adjustments, there's a couple of things to note. One is every rotation of the zero screw is a very fine adjustment to the nozzle in the device. What that means is I'm, I may need to make up to 30 rotations of that screw before I start seeing any output. The other thing to note is with the Type 500, you turn that screw counterclockwise to increase output, and with the Type 550, you should turn it clockwise. Before you start making any adjustments, please consult your instructions which can be found in your box or online at our website. I've now set my input to 4 milliamps as we're going to be making adjustments to the minimum set point of this device. To access the zero screw, you'll want to remove this rubber cover on the front of your device. And to make adjustments, find yourselves a flathead screwdriver and insert it into the hole. Remember, start turning this screw counterclockwise for the Type 500. What you'll notice is even though I'm turning it, I've probably turned it about six or seven rotations at this point, I'm still not seeing any output. Keep going until you see downstream pressure change. Now that we're seeing pressure climb, I'm gonna keep turning this screw until I see three PSI of output pressure. This is gonna be setting my minimum output. Once you're there, stop adjusting the zero screw, and now you're gonna to wanna to run through the calibration process again. Consult your instruction manual or follow along to, with one of our other videos. Once you recalibrate the device, you should be seeing normal performance. Thanks for watching and I hope this video was helpful for you. If you still have any questions, you can reach me at support at controlair.com. You can also chat into our website or give us a call at 603-886-9400.